Okay, I'm just going to start stripping down the rear shock. I'm not sure what I'm going to have done with it, whether I'm going to get it serviced or not. I don't even know how it's working and how to test it. But we'll get to that in another video. I'm just going to completely strip it down. Okay, top tip, loosen those bolts when they're on the bike. You see how quite dry this is. So there's an awful lot of grease just being dumped around the bearing.
and do some of these parts soak. This was the paraffin that the uh, chain was soaked in. You can see how dirty that is. You see lots of grease in there, but it's very congealed. Okay, so at this stage with the rear suspension linkage, some of the seals are damaged and marked. As for the bearings, <coughs> some of them are okay. 
And if I try to do two in that one. That one's a bit tight. I think the noise is more the glove than anything else. And that one's tight. Okay, that one's not too bad. It feels quite dry. That one's very tight. That one's not too bad. Little bit tight. And very similar. Um, what am I going to do? I think I'll let them soak for a little while. Maybe put a little bit of oil on them. So they look in reasonable condition. They're not dirty, they're not rusty. I'm not entirely sure what to do. So I might just price up um, a kit, just do the whole lot whilst it's off. And I'm just going to clean up these pins. What I'm going to do is use a little bit of paraffin and a very, very fine bit of wet and dry. Yeah, they don't need much cleaning. That one's probably the worst. Okay, so I think I'll leave it at that for a minute while I try to figure out how much a um, bearing kit is.
after soaking them in paraffin for some time I then left them soak in um, gearbox oil for several weeks and like I say they're now moving around quite well I've repacked them with grease uh, obviously cleaned it all up so that's looking in quite good shape Now I have given this a little spruce up, I haven't done much to it. It pretty much says in the owner's manual that it's non-serviceable. So I just took the boot off, cleaned all the rust off here, painted it, and reapplied the sticker and put it back together. Um, the only thing I did do to it is change the oil inside. Now it does say it's non-serviceable. So I did look online and I found a YouTube video where somebody else had serviced one of these. Now I'm not sure what he exactly did to it himself, but he did change the oil inside for new uh, fork oil. Now I'm not sure where he got the measurements from, but he said it was 220 mil. So I took this off, drained the oil out. Now he put the oil back in by using a syringe, which I found really, really uh, slow. So what I did was screwed that into there filled it with 20 millilitres at a time and using a screwdriver to get the air out just whisked it around and it went in quite quickly so 20 sorry 220 mil of oil like i say i'm not sure where he got that from 
um, but with nothing else to go on, I just did that. So on this shock absorber, you can add air to it to adjust the um, ride, I suppose. Now this pump is the type of pump you'd use on a um, fork on a mountain bike. So what you do is you screw that on first, then you screw that up and it stops you losing air. So the pressure on this is somewhere between zero and 14 or 15 psi if i remember correctly now this doesn't start till about 20 or 30 psi so i just pumped it up uh, and then used a uh, tire pressure gauge to bring it down to the required level i think i got about 12 psi in this now i'm not sure if this is going to work like i say it didn't feel particularly odd when i did ride the bike now to get it back on the bike catch you in the next video